to ferocious fangs and a taste for blood, one fish steals the show. It's the red-bellied piranha. Do these tiny terrors swarm the seas as a team? How big is this beast's appetite for destruction? There's no mistaking that underbite. Tonight, it's all about the petrifying piranhas. While you're probably familiar with the piranha being portrayed as a murderous maniac, there's more to those creatures than meets the eye. Piranhas first came on the scene about 25 million years ago in freshwater regions of South America, including Venezuela and Argentina. Piranhas typically live and hunt in groups of 10 to 100 fish called shoals. Piranhas' diets range from vegetarian to carnivore to cannibal, depending on the species and context. And they'll scavenge as much as they hunt, feeding on convenient carcasses or seeds that drop in the water. Most piranhas measure 20 centimeters long, but large species can reach up to 60 centimeters in length. But what they lack in size, they make up for in smiles. In the versus ring, a piranha's greatest weapon is its mouth. With a row of blade-like teeth and a maximum bite force of 496 kilopascals, these fish can slice through bone in a single bite. Piranhas have tricuspid teeth, meaning each tooth has three cusps or crowns. The middle peak of the three is the deadliest, measuring four millimeters long. Piranhas are efficient eaters too. They don't bother chewing and simply chomp and swallow their food. A red-bellied piranha eats about two and a half grams per day, about 12% of its body mass. To top off the terror, their senses are just as sharp as their teeth. Piranhas can smell just one drop of blood in the water from three kilometers away. And when it comes to their attack strategy, these fish aren't here to play. Piranhas ambush their prey and go in for its tail or eyes. Their reputation may be rabid, but piranhas aren't nearly as relentless and bloodthirsty as the rumors suggest. Hunted by caimans, birds, river dolphins, and other fish, piranhas are far from invincible. They're not nearly as aggressive as their ringside personas. Piranhas attack when they feel threatened or their eggs are in danger. Yeah, piranhas have attacked and killed humans, but these tussles only tend to happen when the fish are desperate or provoked. You're only likely to see a nightmarish feeding frenzy if the shoal is starving. According to the National Aquarium in Baltimore, it would take up to 500 piranhas to strip the flesh off an 82 kilogram human in five minutes and the fish may not bother doing all that work. Often, they just nibble on the prey's skin or scales and leave the rest behind. These fish are opportunistic and reactionary. If you're a young or vulnerable viewer and tumble into the water, you could be on their menu. You'll be keeping an eye out for these champion chompers from now on, but should you be watching for an even bigger bite? Well, don't miss our next spotlight on the crocodile. See you in the ring next time on Versus.